and good day. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. And in this video, I'd love to share with you Google Update SEO tips. So I've been getting a lot of questions related to Google Updates. What should we do? Uh, my site's dropping. My website's not showing. My pages aren't showing. My sales are dropping. The leads are falling. I understand. Now, before I get into some of the tips and the main tip, I have to point out chrispalmer.org. Now, regardless if it's going to be consultation, training, mastermind, services, whatever the case is, I have you covered. With that being said, let's talk about this update. A little bit different today because I understand your pain. So the best advice that I can give to you is you have to just wait, take your time, take it easy. Don't go inside of your site and start changing things. 99.9% .9 of the time, there's going to be a time, a 30 day, 45 day span. Sometimes it's a little bit longer. And I know that it's difficult not to do anything. Don't touch anything. Don't move anything. Don't change content. Don't start building links or taking away links and disavowing links. Take it easy, all right? Just take it easy. My best advice to you is wait 30 days, 45 days. Assess the damage. Take a look at your SERPs. Take a look in SEMrush or Ahrefs or Moz or Majestic, whatever tool you're using, all right? Take a look inside of your tools and see after 60 days, all right, where are we at? Which keywords did we lose? Which rankings did we lose? Did we lose organic traffic or did we actually lose calls? You know, they may have taken away traffic and they may have taken away long tail keywords, but did they take your commercial intent keywords? Did they take the keywords that were driving primary business? On top of that, we need to also assess and see, well, who's in front of us? What are they rewarding? Because something that I have seen that seems to be the largest issue is they're mixing the intent of the SERPs. What I mean by this is where it used to be primarily dominated by essentially commercial intent keywords, at least in the space that I'm in, they're mixing up the SERPs. They're adding navigational intent and also informational intent content. You know, is it a matter of rephrasing certain pages? Should I have another page? Maybe I should create a new page. No matter what the instance is, the best thing to do right now is take it easy. I know it's going to drive you insane, but watch your call volume. Watch your lead volume. Are you losing actual business or did we just lose traffic? That There's a difference there, all right? On top of that, stop the disavowing. Don't be erasing content and erasing content and running around. Just wait and take it easy. This is my best advice. I hope that this message reaches you. My name is Chris Palmer. If there's anything that I can do for you, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you. If you have a question, if you have a precise question, ask in the section below. I'm going to be waiting for these questions. If there's something that I can assist you with free for fun, I, I would love to help you out. All right, please ask in the section below. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. And of course, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.